Hey guys, how's it going? Just gonna come at you with another review here. This is Transformers Combiner Wars Battle Core Optimus Prime. Uh, the only reason I picked this guy up is I really like uh, the paint job on him slash the remolded head. Gives me the nice white Ultra Magnus without the armor. Uh, you know, I really dig this. I wasn't too interested in the original uh, release of this, you know, with the traditional Optimus colors. Just never really appealed to me much, so I just passed on that because the only way to really get him looking good, in my opinion, was to get, you know, the Bezel Boss uh, upgrade kit for him, which is $50, so, you know, you'd be spending $75 to get a good looking Optimus, and I've already got a lot of good looking Optimuses, and 75 bucks I just didn't feel like spending. But anyway, for 25 I like this much better, and to me it already looks like a good figure. I mean, I like the way it looks, so to me it's kind of a no-brainer to pick up. Anyway, in the package, obviously we got him in robot mode. You can see the guns, see smart work. On the side, uh, combined form. Oops. On the back, product shots, bio, yada, 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 combine him. Yeah, on the side, Autobot logo. The end. That is pretty much it for the packaging. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get this sucker paused here, get him out of the box, and we're going to see what it's like. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here we have Battlecore Optimus out of the box and into vehicle mode. And I have to say, I think his vehicle mode actually looks pretty uh, good. Uh, it rolls really well. And uh, it actually pegs together a lot better than uh, Motor Masters, uh, which is the other instance of this mold that I have. <clears throat> Excuse me. It actually pegs together real nice. Yeah, there's a slight gap up there, but much smaller than when Micro Masters. I'm not Micro Master. I'm sorry. Motor Master is in this mode. Um, you know, he holds together much better than Motor Master in this mold. Uh, they definitely did some improvements to this mold between the original release and this. I know, I'm just having fun rolling it. Anyway, let me go ahead and just zoom in so you can see the detail A is just a tad bit better. Um, now, it's pretty plain on the front. You got just some gray paint, some blue right there. But still, overall, you got some gold there on the side. But overall, it looks pretty good in this mode. And if you want, you can mount his two guns here on his rear there. Now he's got, oh, jeez, Pete's, okay, let's go ahead, and there we go, and now he's got rear-facing butt guns, pew, 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 <laughs> if you so choose. Um, that actually looks kind of cool. And another display option for him in vehicle mode, if you so desire. Get those out, you can plop that sucker down there. So anyway... There you go. That is it for uh, vehicle mode, more or less. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to because, again, all my other Transformers are currently in storage. And I'm not digging them out right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the transformation as it is fairly simplistic. So, and this is an edit point if I screw up, by the way. <laughs> as always. Start off just by kind of ratcheting his legs out. Let's go ahead and split the cab. Get that like so. That like so. Get his legs down. Oh. Kind of fold the rear up there. The legs are down. Pop his little feetums forward. Separate his legs. I'm going to have to angle the camera up now, so just bear with me, guys. Up, up, up like an elevator. Okay. Stay up there. Alright. Okay. Continuing on. Take his arm, fold his little panels down there. Rotate these bad boys around. Thusly. Oh. 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 There we go. Alright. Oh, oh. There we go, kind of straighten them out, and then just push on the edge here, and oh. there we go. 
His head pops up. And he be in a robot mode. I guess I'm going to have to lift the camera even a little bit more to get him all in frame here. He's a fairly tall Voyager. So let's go ahead and let's move the camera back, actually. There we go. Now we got a good view of him. Zoom in a little. So you take the whole thing. And I have to say, I really like the way this guy looks uh, in robot mode. Awesome, awesome. Um, in my opinion, this is going to be Ultra Magnus without his armor. But, you know, it's a white Optimus Prime. I, I really like the way this looks a lot. Hence, that's why I bought the figure. Uh, anyway, uh, as far as articulation goes, you know, pretty standard. His feet uh, kind of, you know, bend down there. He's got knee bend and rotation. At the top, he's got ratcheting joints up there at the hips, so all direction at the hips. He's got the waist rotation. He's got shoulder rotation. Ratchet joint there. Elbow bend and rotate. Well, I'm sorry, bicep swivel, it looks like. And his head rotates. So, overall, pretty darn poseable. As. Pretty much they all are nowadays. The only thing that I don't like about this figure, there is, there I, I do have a nitpick. And that is, let me zoom in on, maybe you can see this on camera, maybe you can't. Uh, you can kind of see it. The sticker application of that Autobot symbol, eh, I don't love it. Um... You know, I kind of wish they had tampographed on the Autobot symbols instead of using stickers. It's kind of cheap, in my opinion, they cheaped out by using stickers. I know it's a cost-cutting move, but, eh. Um, it's not the end of the world, but, you know, it is it is a slight mark against the figure. I mean, like I said, not a huge deal. Anyway, let's go ahead and just look up so you can see the head sculpt. That is, in my opinion, just a great looking head sculpt. I really enjoy that. That looks real nice. Um, and let's go ahead and zoom back out. So we can just see really overall how the figure looks. And uh, yeah, I think overall this figure looks absolutely great. From the back, not so much, but overall, you know, I like the figure a lot. Now, he comes with two guns. And of course, he can dual wield, or if you so choose, he they uh, combine into one large gun. Bang, bang, right? So, if you want, you can just give him one really big long gun like that. Or if you want to have him like holding it in both hands. That's certainly, yeah, achievable. If you want to give him that sort of a pose, that's doable. So really, whatever your personal preference is, or, you know, of course, the classic dual wield, whatever you like, he can do it like that. Oh, that's what she said. Okay, anyway. So, that is pretty much going to wrap this thing up of Battle Core Optimus. Uh, if you like the way he looks and all that, I can't think of a single reason not to get him. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy watching this, please, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.